the Michigan coastline. The sun disappears slowly behind the clouds, leaving only silence. Beauty. And mystery. Muskegon, four miles inland, once wealthy and abounding with lumber and sand, its resources are now gone, squandered by generations of short sighted greed, and the city is all but forgotten. As if in silent atonement for the sins of their ancestors, its people seem to exist without dreams or aspirations, with no direction, no hope of escape. Whether the emptiness is reflected in the city or the city is reflected in them. Muskegon appears as a wasteland, an unsalvageable cultural vacuum. But even in the midst of such cold desolation, the intellect finds a way to escape oppression. The artists emerge like sunflowers bursting through concrete to give hope to the dying city. Conglomerating at the Frauenthal Center for the Performing Arts, they celebrate their success, revealing to their fellow citizens for the first time a glimpse of their strength, of the shared ability to overcome the stagnation of the past. They reveal for the first time in decades, the quiet optimism that will one day envelop Muskegon from the inside, ushering in a new era of freedom and growth.
saxophone man. There's a, a picture, a friend of mine took a picture of this man in South Africa. He was just playing his sax um, on the streets. He snapped a picture of it. He brought it to me and said, do what you want with this. So I added some energy to him. The medium I use is watercolor with gouache and uh, color pencil, which was new. This is a first uh, watercolor base drawing that I've done. So I wanted to add a little more culture into my work, a little more African American type, any 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 culture, show a little more diversity. So my work involves basketry plus Prismacolor drawings that I have drawn that include flowers that I love, rooms that I love, and people that I love. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Okay, uh, my name is Fred Reinecke. I'm a commercial industrial photographer, and uh, this is my artwork. I've been doing uh, photography for 35 years, and um, uh, mostly this type of work is very abstract, uh, like the use of colors. Also, I do a lot of black and white that are also in this show. This is this is uh, an outlet for, for my creative thing, things that I do uh, in, in normal life where I'm photographing uh, uh, parts and buildings and things for uh, commercial clients. This type of work I do for the fun of it. Thank you for coming to the show. I'd like to thank um, Sky Channel for putting the show on and for having me. I'd also like to thank Marie Crystal, my grandmother, for teaching me how to paint, and uh, all the other teachers that I've had. Thanks for coming. Okay, hi, my name is Ben. This is one of my pieces of glass that I uh, that I do. I do stained glass. I've been doing it for about 10 years. So I enjoy doing it. It's a good hobby that I that I love to do, and hopefully I can do more when I retire. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Sky Channel for inviting me to this. Uh, Art in Toronto. I really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully people uh, have enjoyed my uh, stained glass work. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> my name is Sky Kempel and I did this painting and some other ones too. And um, um, I, I really don't know what to say. So that's it. <laughs> Well, you see, the reason why I like this painting in particular is the great use of uh, color <laughs> and the great use of light. This is absolutely my favorite painting because I like to go to the beach and get tan when it's sunny out. This is my personal favorite by uh, Mike Shanehalls. It's a beautiful painting. It's from his private collection, otherwise I might consider uh, purchasing it. Um, Sky General also has various wonderful works of art that if I had some money I might consider purchasing. This is an absolutely great painting of a great man. My tennis coach, Joe Jensen. And so they leave, the artists, the people. Suddenly, Muskegon seems less dreary, its strangling grip finally loosened. Some attribute their mood to the wine, or to good company. But the wiser ones are aware that it is the artwork of these brave pioneers, the color, the texture, that is responsible. That this feeling is one of emancipation, that chains have been lifted, and the revolution has finally begun.